Faster urbanization, aging populations, pressure on public spending and sustainability concerns, these are only some of the serious challenges facing our cities. Here at the Urban Big Data Center, our researchers are asking the hard questions that face our cities such as, how can we prepare our cities better for the future? How can we deal with the economic, social and environmental shocks? How can cities respond to the needs and experiences of people who live there, who work and travel there? In order to equip cities with the self-knowledge needed to plan for the future, the Urban Big Data Center began the Integrated Multimedia City Data Project. This will offer a view of the city with a level of detail that is rarely available currently. The project sees social science researchers and data scientists work hand in hand to create, uncover and weave multiple data strands from a wide range of sources to reflect the complexity of city life. The IMCD project starts with a representative survey of about 1,500 households in and around the Glasgow area, including all the adults that live in the household. It, it gathers information on attitudes, values, behaviours and literacy across a number of topic areas, in, including transport, sustainability, learning and ICT. The IMCD project goes far beyond the household survey. Some participants continue with a week-long experiment by carrying a GPS tracker, wearable camera, plus completed a travel diary. This will provide a rich source of data on daily travel behaviour. This keyhole view on the city will yield new insights on where, when, how and why we go to work, where we eat, where we socialise, etc. To protect the privacy of participants, only carefully screened researchers bound by strict research processes will have access to these data. More and more people are moving to cities because they offer opportunities for work, education and socialising. People's experiences of their cities are important to urban researchers. It's one thing for us to investigate A&E waiting times in a new hospital, but it's another for us to hear personal real stories and experiences of how this impacts on people's lives. Public streams of social media actually provide us with a larger scale, people-centered view of our city. Capturing what's happening at a particular time in a city also helps us to understand what's working and what isn't. So unlike the old days of urban research, now anyone can ask questions or make suggestions to local councils to improve their cities. The Urban Big Data Center is building a data collection here to help public users, academic researchers and the government improve Glasgow. The IMCD collection includes texts and images, tweets, GPS trails and even videos about the greater Glasgow area. And we can use these to look back and revisit key events like the Commonwealth Games or the Independence Referendum. So all of these data taken together provide a snapshot of living in the city at the time of the Understanding Glasgow survey. And people might want to come and examine questions about this. For instance, someone might come to the centre to investigate whether daily commutes were affected by the build-up to the Commonwealth Games. Or they might be interested in examining the effects of heat waves and whether this disrupts our travel. So on the one hand, we're gathering safeguarded and controlled data here, and on the other hand, we're trying to open up novel data sets for use by researchers, the government, and the public alike, in order to build a rich bird's eye view of our city and improve problems that our users identify. It is the nature of innovation to explore new paths. We don't know as yet what research results the IMCD data will yield. But we do know that by linking these data sets, by colliding the high level with the detail, we spark the chances of uncovering new potential, not just for Glasgow, but for cities all over the world. Contact us today to follow progress of the IMCD project and learn how to access this new innovative data.